Hey, hi, hello again. It's me, Amy the Baker. And Bubba, back with another video. I'm doing a grad cake. I've had this lovely situation where it was my niece's birthday, my cousin's grad, and Father's Day all in the span of like four days. So I made cupcakes for my niece. I'm doing a cake for my cousin and cheesecake for my dad. I wanted to do like a trifecta of videos, so I had the next three weeks kind of cleared for me, but filming the cupcakes didn't happen, and I don't know if the cheesecake filming is gonna happen either, but we shall see. Either way, I'm gonna attempt to do this cake. I agreed to do this cake before I realized it was also Father's Day this weekend. <laughs> when I reached out to my cousin's mom, she's not really my aunt by blood, but uh, oh, my mom started watching them at like three or four months old. I've known them their whole life, basically. I made little cookies this morning because I'm gonna break up cookies to add like stuff on the inside. Oh, what I was saying, I reached out to their mom and just asked flavor combinations that they would like and they just said chocolate and caramel. So that's what we're doing, but I'm also adding cookies. I'm gonna break those up to add stuff into the middle. Usually when I'm doing a caramel, I like to set the layers in between but I do not have time for that because I still have to get him lunch, do another nap, get us both ready to go. We're not eating the cake until tomorrow, but I wanna have it done. Caramel. I made this caramel this morning, the cookies this morning. The caramel, I kind of just based it off of a recipe I already had because all the ones I saw online for like a thick caramel sauce were very similar to the one that I already had. So I just did a cup of sugar, about three quarters of a cup of cream, 50 or 60 grams of butter. The reason I like to set the layers in between when I'm crumb coating when I'm working with caramel is because the caramel tends to leak out the sides. So we're gonna just pray to the sugar gods that this works out in my favor and doesn't leak everywhere. Honestly, for all of the years I've been doing cakes, I'm still not that great at them. One in 10 cakes will actually work out in my favor and be easy. It's weird, it's been almost 10 years since my grad. I graduated in 2015, so next year will be my 10 year. I don't think we're doing a reunion. And even if we did do a reunion, I'm only still close with one person from my high school days. Oh no. I got caramel all over the counter. Keep going. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. What can we do, Lisa? Good. I'm only close with one person who I went to high school with and uh, they wouldn't go either. <laughs> okay. I was actually very smart in high school. Not so much now. <laughs> kind of lost a lot of those skills. I was super good at math. I was in calculus or pre-calculus. I remember I took chemistry because mm. I knew I wanted to go into baking and really to get into the school I wanted to go to, which was SAIT in Calgary. You just needed a basic science, but I liked school. Oh no, she's pudging out. I'm not gonna do the top because I don't want to add pressure on top of there. Mistakes were made. Please work out for me, please, please, please. Just this once, work out when I do the wrong thing. Anyways, I was in chemistry and I had, uh, my pre-calculus teacher was also my chemistry teacher and he asked me why I didn't go into physics because I was really good at math. And I was like, because I don't like physics. She's pudging out. She might leak everywhere and that would make me extremely sad. Um, I'll be back, hopefully, unless I decide that this is a bust, but uh, you'll be seeing me hopefully right now. I just realized I didn't add cookies on the second layer because I was rushing. Ah! I'm back about half an hour, not quite. This is drip ganache. I got my buttercream coming back to life. <clears throat> and we don't appear to have any leaks. Mama's happy. Bubba's toxic trait is that he takes huge bites and then gets angry when they hurt going down. He tries to chew them, but he just gets impatient with chewing. And he's like, no, I'm just gonna swallow it. Dude, you stress me out. Back to what I was talking about. I was a very good student. I had straight A's and I was also working 25 to 35 hours a week at a diner in my hometown that's no longer open, unfortunately. It actually shut down while I was in high school because I did not take that down. Because the owner tried to switch management and then the building was condemned. I don't know what happened, but it's open again as a new restaurant, so couldn't have been that bad. 
so want to be quick with this because I got to get it back into the fridge before I do a drip on it. And I don't want to use too much buttercream because I'm hoping to have some for the top as well. I loved high school. I loved learning. I loved being in a place where it was encouraged to learn and to ask questions. You know, I had my share of trouble because of my big mouth, but overall it was a really positive experience. Not on the social side, but on the learning side, I loved it. Wow, that was very good. I'm not usually that good. I was planning on wearing a different dress to grab, but then I was like, this is kind of fancy. You know, it's not my grad. I don't need to wear like a formal wear, you know? The top is very much not actually flat. Of course. It's so nice. If I go over it again, it's not going to be nice anymore. See, this is my problem. I go in and try to fix one thing and then it wrecks the other nice things. And then I go to try to fix that thing and then it wrecks the other thing. It ends up taking me hours to do a cake, but I don't have hours today. I just gotta keep stirring this or it's gonna- Thorn the skin. Yeah, I did really well in math. I just got it, I don't know. Like I said, I was in pre-calculus and I would have taken calculus, but I wanted to take foods instead and they were at the same time. So obviously I'm gonna take the thing that's more relevant to where I'm wanting to go. Great, I love what's happening. Let's do this. I don't think I could go back to school. I think if I went to university right out of high school, it would have been fun and I could have succeeded actually. Being this far out, that was quite the noise. <laughs> Are you screaming? Being this far out of high school, I just, I don't think I could be successful in that setting anymore. And that's not to say I regret my decision to go to state. I had a very, very positive experience there. I met some of my best friends in the absolute world. I'm not mad at that at all. If I hadn't been in my car accident, I probably still would be in the food industry. I could have seen myself working, doing stages in Michelin star restaurants. I had quite the drive. It's a shame, but I have a kid now and a house and I wouldn't have had these things if I didn't have the accident. So it's one of those things where I don't think about it too much because then I'll just be sad. There's the great metaphor. I think it's bell hooks. I can't remember, some old author of the fig tree. And each branch is a different avenue of life to take. But the longer you wait to pick a branch, the more of them die off anyways. So damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of thing. Uh, okay. It's funny <laughs> that I was so good in high school because I looked like this and uh, <laughs> teachers couldn't say anything to me really because I was such a good student. It didn't matter that I was alternative. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, not even close want to make sure it's still soft. I will leave it out of the bag actually. My substance abuse issue started in high school. I drank a lot and it was very normalized in my family. The amount that I was drinking was not normal. Getting blackout drunk. I was 13 when I started drinking. If you're a teenager and watching this, you have your whole life to drink. You don't need to do it in high school. And if you do do it in high school, <laughs> I said do do. If you are drinking and you're in high school that's fine like there's nothing morally wrong about it it's just be careful and don't let yourself get taken advantage of especially if you're a woman it's one of those things where naivety will get the best of you clean up this edge down here are you being a menace over there bubby hopefully this is the right consistency i didn't really check I want to do it so the camera can see. Oh wow, look at that drip. So clean, so nice. Mmm, drippy, drip, 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 drip. Wow. This is the real time speed of the drip. Beautiful! Then usually what I do, because there's always so much ganache left, is I just put the rest of it, or most of the rest of it, on the top. And then, and then we spread it out, but you don't want to spread it out too much and ruin those drips you just did. I just did. <sighs> I love drip cakes. I think they're so pretty. I'll use a little bit more. Shake it. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge to set and I'll be back right now. 
Hello, hello again from a different angle because my phone died. Food safe. When is for family? Who knows her? I hope none of them watch this. Or at least until, not until after the cake's been eaten. I don't know if you can hear the basement troll down there, but he's playing Tekken. If you know, you know. I didn't know about Tekken until dating my current partner. It's like one of the top fighting games. Yeah, honey. Whoa. Okay, this should be quick. I'm just gonna do some stuff on the top. With the ganache, if the consistency's a bit thicker, what I'll do is I'll spread it out and then I'll take a spatula and do like a circular design. I'll put a picture here. Breathe, Amy. How was your high school experience? Or if you're in high school, how's it going? I doubt anyone in high school is watching these videos, except if my family stumbles upon them. And in that case, hi! Please don't bring this up when you see me, I will cringe. I had the perfect amount of buttercream, just a little bit extra. <sighs> Sorry, I lost all my chatty nature. Oh no. What was that? I have these chocolates I was gonna put on the inside. Oh, sorry, I'm being boring, I'm being boring. I'm trying to interesting. But I'm focused. Cakes? Cakes stress me out, man. Pressure is too much. Oh, I wish I still had some caramel. I'd do a little drizzle. That's Trash. They're lucky this is free. Alright, he's sad about it. Mm. Oh, I, I kind of hate it. I'm kind of upset. <laughs> I should have let the buttercream set and then put the cookies on. Whatever. She's cute. Good enough. Hey, I won't be back for a taste test. So this video is going to end very unceremoniously. All right, they're chocolate. Make sure they're still good. Your mini Lindors got her cake decorating. Like this video. Leave a comment down below saying what your favorite kind of cake is. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys again in the next one. Peace. <laughs> Hi.